<laughs> Good morning and welcome to Mom and Ed in the Morning for July the 3rd, 2023. I'm Mom. And this is Ed. Good morning and to the stream chat, I pass a meep. Meep, 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 meep. Yeah. So I, this is a holiday weekend in the States for most places. A lot of businesses um, are shut today and tomorrow. So if you have a weekend off, then it's like a four-day weekend. Oh, wait, wait, I have today off. And I have tomorrow off. But does that mean I actually have nothing to do? No. But fortunately, it means I, nothing is work, really, and I have to work on my costumes for Vegas and work on something for Frost and been working on something for somebody else. Uh, the working on something for someone else was the uh, thing we were just talking about, which is your dance keybind. And I made a very down and dirty... Uh, stupidly fast video to help people with it if you're having problems with the dance party. I'm not having problems with the dance party, but you know what? There's a lot of things that I think are just stupid easy and other people are like, oh, I can't get that. And I'm like, really? But then again, they'll turn around and go, but this is super easy. I'm like, I can't do that. Or I'm stupid at it. Or I suck at it. So, yeah, I guess everything, everybody's got a thing. Hey, Ed, I found out something super interesting today. Um, according to Discord, I'm currently playing Neverwinter. Um, indeed, um, the, um, yeah, um, the, some days ago, maybe after an up, uh, either, um, uh, I, I think, um, a patch, uh, Confuse the Discord. No, uh, I think Star Trek Online is never winter. That explains that. So, yeah, no, because somebody said, you're playing Neverwinter. I'm like, no, I've never... If it's not Star Trek Online or, like, Solitaire. I don't play it. That's it. My life is easy. My life is abbreviated. I did put aside time to not play Star Trek Online this weekend. I play for an hour, make sure I start with the dance party, then play for an hour, and then actually go do something productive. So I emptied one box of stuff yesterday, leaving me with multiple boxes of... I'm never going to put this in my apartment. I might put it in my house. So I just got to start packing up stuff to go back into storage because until I get a house, I just refuse to put up everything. It's just silly. Uh-huh. Yeah. <clears throat> As it is, I have more than enough work to keep me busy until I buy a house without worrying about putting up stuff I'm going to just take down. And I want to start putting up the things I'm going to use, like in here in this office I need to uh, clean out all the junk and put up all the stuff for streaming and put up the cameras and everything else, which will probably not happen until after uh, Vegas, honestly. I probably won't go back to martial arts till after Vegas. I won't go back to college till after Vegas. Blah, 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 blah. Because <clears throat> Vegas is like a month from today. It's the 3rd to the 6th. Yep. Well, my part is the 3rd to the 6th. Um, we ri I arrive late on Thursday night. We're just going to do Friday, Saturday at the convention. And then I'm flying out early Sunday morning to get back in time to uh, get some sleep and take care of my doggos and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Um, 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 <clears throat> I, um, I had uh, um, Star Trek Online Saturday evening. Did you really? That, um, felt like a bit... Um, Returning uh, back, kind of uh, five years, oh. where uh, where uh, stuff was um, exciting and fun. Oh, that's amazing! That's terrific. It, yeah, that is. Um, we um, we had uh, we have been um, five um, group of five people. Mm -hmm. And um, running uh, Elite TFOs <coughs> to collect the um, components 
needed for the consoles we would like to try out from the uh, new advanced uh, console uh, family. That's <clears throat> what I would like to start doing on our evening shows. I haven't done anything really besides just kind of check in. It's yeah. taken me a while to get back into things. Yeah, and one thing was um, one of our um, uh, uh, of our uh, spacey wise cool captain said, "Oh, I suck on ground," and um, well, uh, ten minutes later of. Um, Take, 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 upgrade, 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 slot, slot, slot. Um, he was fit for uh, for anything on, on, on ground as the other captains uh, uh, tend to be. Well, well, that was my thought, is that uh, we could easily run some shows to help people upgrade their ground stuff. Of course, I'd have to get myself prepared to do that, and my brain just isn't there at the moment. Yep. And um, <clears throat> it was, um, we um, uh, got, uh, one thing is, um, we, um, we uh, uh, the TFOs we picked, mm -hmm. uh, um, are just, um, okay, these are um, the stuff for the, um, uh, for the engineering components, um, the energy uh, uh, testers uh, want to have. Um, I uh, was okay. I just uh, I just like to look first into the hunger pets, another engineering console. So um, the uh, that is um, we uh, just um, yeah the uh, cherry picking. <laughs> well, yeah. By, uh, by loot. Then um, okay, nobody wants uh, a hor um, an um, elite dran or uh, dranur. Beach assault is five five, mm -hmm. which, oh, is, yeah. which is um, a bad thing in elite. Yeah, un unless you've got five, but nine other people, yes. Yeah, and um, uh, sorry, but dranur gauntlet without. Um, we're not aware uh, which opponents you will get, and it's uh, always um, a 15 minutes uh, pain in the butt. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> elite pain in the butt is, uh, yeah, uh, it's not elite butt, it's elite pain. <laughs> so, um, th they always said, okay, no thank you to those, but we can do this and that, and we will be fine. And then, first thing is, that's why I made this captain. That's why I put the work into the ship. Now it shows. What? Well, yeah. That's a good really? summation. You, when you get to the point where everything's working and it's easier and funner. Excuse me a second here. I didn't get it? I got it. Okay. Alrighty. <coughs> and, um,. Yeah, and after the uh, third run, uh, uh, Mati said, <laughs> "This is easier than advanced." <laughs> yeah, um, you know, sometimes with this it is. group, of course, you have five captains um, on steroids, armed to the teeth, and um, trained yep. at nauseam. Uh, what do you expect? Well, of course, it now feels easier as you are not. One people carrying four people through it uh, through an advanced TFO, or maybe two people carrying three other people. Now five people are doing that job, and it's yep, there definitely you go. needed. But you uh, sample is um, best served cold. You cannot carry a single mate when the it, it's in the escape uh, where the um, Klingon for. Klingon prisoner break uh, prisoners try to escape from Rapenta. You cannot carry a single mate. All five need to be alert and able. Otherwise, you feel, uh, yeah, you might fail. Well, 
I find that if you've got one lower level player on advanced, the four of you, if four of you are good, you can carry them. But on elite, no, everyone's got to carry their weight or we have fail. Yep. On elite, you need, um, you, you need the, uh, you, uh, five people, uh, and, um, yeah, on just, um, on state of, uh, state of current knowledge, state of the art, just, uh, know, uh, know what you do and have put, uh, put, uh, the necessary resources in. It's, um, <clears throat> not mind-boggling. It can be, um, it's, uh, a good, um, a good build and you will be fine. Just find the right good build. Well, one, my ground builds are good enough for advanced. They're not good enough for consistent elite. There's a few that I can play consistently. Yeah. I'm sorry if I'm a little kind of distracted here. I am itch city, and I don't want to take medication for it because then I'll fall asleep. And I've been asleep most of the night, obviously, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I just itch like crazy. Ouch, ouch, yeah, ouch. Yeah, yeah. Well, would you like to do some endeavors and maybe we can talk uh, better ground builds a bit tomorrow. Um, Mar Hawkman said he enjoys talking about ground setups too, so maybe Mar Hawkman can join us for one of our convos one day. But are you up for uh, maybe talking ground builds tomorrow during the show? Um, uh, that would be sure. I would... Um, it will be a combination of a bit reputation, a bit exchange plus upgrading. I think we can and, probably handle that. And it's um, a universal build that is uh, can be uh, put on any captain. Perfect. From that point on, with that universal uh, strong build in background, you might add profession <laughs> flavor. <laughs> Again, dropping this out or that one, but that will be different. Because, thanks to the Universal Kit modules, and um, every class can shine even without uh, looking into its specialists. And you, uh, when you then start experimental with class-dependent stuff, uh, profession-dependent stuff later, you may shine more. And uh, the only thing you will prove when you have chosen the right thing is every damn class uh, profession is damn good on ground. <laughs> it's just uh, that uh, we have have this um, kind of uh, point of view. Uh, anything except uh, tacticians are waste of time in space. That is. Um, uh, not the full truth and on ground it uh, I can tell you um, a science captain that uh, is from the evil geniuses uh, college is damn difficult to beat with uh, with, with, uh, 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 with a tactician's captain an engineer is surprisingly effective and kind of saving the day in totally unexpected ways. Hmm. It's um, okay, and but we, uh, I would start with a with, with a universal build that says, okay, I kill uh, almost everything around me, and that should be enough to save the day, which is basically true. <laughs> I did enough to save the day. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. That's a line I need to put in the book we're writing at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, <clears throat> so when it comes to endeavory stuff, mm -hmm. um, I uh, have um, on um, at number three. Mm -hmm. I have um, three dreadnoughts. Ooh. Uh, and uh, disruptor damage on ground, and already I have my dual disruptor pistols uh, 
already done ready to play a disruptor pistol slinger mm -hmm. so that would be at number three and at number one the uh, friendly pucklet says okay i have to do a certain amount of damage in space and um i uh, can do this well what i've got is i've got borg on ground voth ships not in battle zone terrans on the ground I've got some Undine ships in the battle zone. I have some AP ground damage, and I have some destroyed Terran ships. So I've got quite a variety of things. We have about 15 minutes until the dance party. So what works for you? We could do maybe some uh, Pavel for Terrans on the ground, um, or if you have ground damage. Um, yeah, so um, if you uh, uh, invite Mott, okay. Klingen, uh, Klingen Captain, Perfect. then... Uh, it's a uh, kind of um, yes. Uh, show the Terrans where the sun does not shine. I haven't vo voided Mort. Let's get a little Pavo cued here. We are queued for a little Pavo there. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm going to set this tune up for when we get back for the dance party. When I was making the video on the keybind yesterday, I realized I hadn't made a video in a long time and I had to remember how the heck I do it. It has been a while. All right, what do we want here? Like that one, I don't particularly care about that. Wee woo? Yep. That was a wee woo. Let's get some weapons here. Oh yeah, definitely don't want that one there. Let's see, what do I like? I like that one. What do I want for backup? I'll go that way. Have I been sitting? No, I don't think so. Ah, it's loading. Ah! Mine is just. Eh. It says it's loading. I st I'm still on rise up. Oh, yeah, mine's, and, uh, mine's just sitting around, hanging out, chilling. So I'm slowly getting rid of all the. There we go. Mm -hmm. Loading now, 31. Yep. And by the way, uh, speaking of our elitity of all uh, stuff, when the evening was ended, mm -hmm. um, we just um, traded loot around so everybody can get at least one of his of the consoles he wanted. Oh, that's good. It was um, kind of uh, yes. Uh, it's now um, okay. Uh, I got my stuff and uh, gave others along, and was just. Um, Happy good time. <laughs> Always good. Also, the group, um, I, um, audience was interested in uh, more such stuff and the uh, joining team mm -hmm. so uh, as I uh, as I will do paper uh, paper and pencil next uh, next Saturday um, already uh, the team has um, al already uh, yeah, is completed uh, by just uh, nice yes And that the other thing, suddenly, three slots are filled immediately when it comes to stuff that is a challenge and the, uh, suddenly those people able to handle the challenge join the team. Nice. Because they now like the play, it's that kind of... Yeah, that's why I made that stuff. There we go. Okay. 
Now this is kind of embarrassing. I will solve two endeavors. One I had on my, uh, I uh, okay, both on my list, but not in my, uh, not uh, thought about it. But yeah. I managed to get myself killed on the very first thing because the dance party overwrote my normal controls here. Uh, are you, you're working with numpad? Yep. Control numpad? Well, I have some keybinds on c my control line. Okay. Yeah, that is... Um, <clears throat> That's okay, I can toggle for the moment. I'm going to grab some friends here to help out. There we go. Okay, that was an interesting uh, beam in bug. Yes. I uh, called one of my drones, and first it was looked like, do I have a flying toaster? <laughs> the flying toaster, yes. By the way, the setup uh, I'm talking about tomorrow um, says, um, yeah, um, <clears throat> uh, 
uh, two stacks uh, plus a bit uh, Lunalot favors. Uh, oh, I, I just happen to have a few spare Lunalot favors if anybody needs yeah. them. Just a few. Yeah, and I found I found more. Yep, yeah. and it matches uh, the current uh, season. Um, Perfect. Because uh, yeah, where do you get your Luna Nut feather from? The dance floor or whatever. Oh, oh mom. Yeah. If you want to jump over here and help me in five, that would be really appreciated. On my way. Thank you. I need to clear out the. Uh, Keybinds, because I'm not going to toggle through partying and gaming all this time. How do you clear out a keybind? Um, uh, it's kind of, um, yeah, I fear kind of an um, um, un, uh, unbind all and then uh, <sighs> load those you want to have. Um, okay. A placed crystal is under attack. Or, of course, um, you can uh, bind uh, keybind key bind load uh, commands to keys, so you uh, load, uh, have one uh, command that loads the keybind files for option A, and one that loads the keybind files for option B. This is, um, yeah, just um, kind of... Uh, The limited time rewards have <laughs> still seek out artifacts, but only for the standard payout. I did not, Mar Hawkman. I will go look at that today since I have a day off. Well done. Looks like the Terrans are retreating. Since I have two days off. Two days off and much to do, but two days off. Reading two extra days off. Oops, that's not where I want to go. I want to go over here. Yeah, it doesn't feel like they put a lot of attention into Risa for this year, which is sad because I love Risa, but um that would have been so uh there has has been uh, options to um add new customs, it's just a matter mm -hmm. of um, spend the time making them guys. Um like um yes that uh, kind of um, medieval spacey uh, stuff for the Hisperians might be cool, might be cool or something totally different they, but they, um, of course nobody needs another uh, baseball uh, crew vanity shield yeah well we didn't get anything new for costumes or vanity shields or anything like that actually so Dance party starts in half a minute. I guess we'll miss this dance we party. Yeah, we will. We have a few minutes lead time, but... Mm, five minutes here in use, so uh, uh, we will not complete. That's okay, we can skip it this time. Yeah. Gives me a moment to try and figure out how to unbind my key files. I just have to reassign everything. Okay, I got my 60 turns. I can go home now. The Terrans placed an agonizer by one of the roots. Destroy it. it quickly. Nope, not me. 
Chris Nephilim! Hello, Chris Nephilim! Is that like Chris Kringle? X Terrans, I guess that's good enough setup right there. Oh my god, Satalia. During the Middle Ages, if the peasants revolted, that would would that mean resistance is futile? Oh, ouchie, ouchies. Uh, must be s some native speaker stuff. Yes. Medieval things were called feudal. F-E-U-D-A-L. A feudal. Feudal. Mm. Let's see, what else do I want to lay down here for these poor guys when they beam in? Let's get you guys. Interesting. There we Bad go. Bad guys have been a little bit. Yeah, they were. Well, I was down there getting ready for him, so. Yeah. Coraline down. Ah, me down too. killed her before she could even use her last few words. And Ian, down. Yeah. Good morning, Chris! Mom forgot fire bad. Yes, Mom forgot fire bad. Mom was preoccupied with taking out uh, Coraline. Coraline, excuse me. Coraline. Papa is safe! Oh, yay! Sounds familiar. For now. <laughs> While they're doing that, let's figure out how do I unbind my keybinds. Um, uh, slash unbind underscore all. I don't have to reestablish them, but that's okay. Unbind. Okay. And after that, uh, the proper. Uh, bind load file commands for um, and do so also in space as you have unbound all. Okay, well my default ones came back which is fine. Space though I need to go up and uh, let's see, what am I using? Am I using Carl or am I using 8-ball? A good question. Chris Nephilim asks how everybody is doing. I'm fine, thanks. <laughs> Let's see what we've got back here in space. No, it left my default space ones the way they were, which is messed up, but that's okay. Okay. Let's see here. Yep. Yeah, my space ones are fine. So I'm good with that. Yeah. All right, so, so every... Go ahead. You would need... Um uh, just uh, on the ground, the two proper bind uh, bind load files for the numpad. Yes, and then you're but, fine. But, but 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 they don't need the numpad. I, I'm fine with doing the dance on the top on uh, the emotes. I put that in because other people needed it more than I do. I'm fine the way it is. I mean, the number pad would be great, but it's not critical. Or I could just reposition all my other stuff, but I'm good. I am fine with what I've got the way it is. Okay. What, you, you expect me to change my <clears throat> 13 years, 14 years? How long have we been around? 13 years. You expect me to change it after learning it for 13 years? No. Well, Chris, if you were having lunch at work, that would mean you're over in your piece someplace or South America or South Africa someplace. So I hope you're having a lovely day. Looks like I'm going to have a rainy day. Let's see what the weather says here. It rained most of the weekend here. 
which was perfect. We needed rain desperately. Um, no, we just have a mostly cloudy day today. That's great. And tomorrow being the 4th of July, no clouds, no rain. That's even better. Middle of Europe, okay. No problems. Blue sky. Well, you want clear days on the 4th of July because that's when they generally do the fireworks show. And I've heard that, and experienced multiple times when they've canceled the fireworks show because the clouds were so low that they were concerned about the fact that the uh, pressure wave would bounce off the bottom of the clouds and kind of reverberate down and they weren't quite <laughs> sure what was going to happen. <laughs> yes, bouncing off the clouds. Hey, Chris is from Poland. I have never had anybody in the chat who's from Poland that I'm aware of. Welcome aboard. I've also never been to Poland. I've got to put that on the list for next trip over. I was watching some cooking show and they were featuring the restaurants of Poland and it's like, oh yeah, I have got to go. Then again, I just want to go back to Europe so I can eat food again. La 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 la, change outfit. There we go, back to my swimming suit. I feel better now. I feel so refreshed. Yes. Yeah, that's the problem with Europe, everybody. I go over there, and while we walk every place, we don't ever rent it. Well, we rented a car in Ireland, but every place else we walked, everything tastes so good. My son and I would get up in the morning, make our coffee, walk across the street. This is when we were staying in Paris. Found a um, little pastry shop, had croissant. Went to the Louvre, had a sandwich. Went to another pastry shop, had more croissant. Found a little cafe for more croissant. Went walking around uh, on the opposite side of the city, found more croissant. <coughs> uh, it's a good thing we were walking every place. Then, of yeah. course, the street where they had the excellent bakery in the first place, which was across from our apartment, also had little cafes for dinner. <gasps> um, Switzerland was the same way. Germany was the same way. England, London. I thought the food in London was phenomenal. Denmark. We never get to walk around and explore cafes because all of our friends take us out. Same in Sweden. Yeah. Um, London, one thing was, um, yes, um, of course, have the, um, have the natives uh, show you the ropes. And you get the good stuff, like uh, on this top, and have a, just uh, have an English breakfast. Mm -hmm. Beans, baked beans, uh, <laughs> scrambled eggs, um, sausage, uh, <laughs> toast, and uh, just um, yep. Yeah. yeah, no, this can take you over that. I was going to say that's enough food for the entire day. The, the thing with the croissant, Chris, was my son and I were determined to find the best croissant in Paris. So every time we'd find a bakery, we'd stop and get one. And then compare it to the last one and decide, is this one better? Is that one better? It's not that it's the only thing they had to eat. We were just having fun. But the best sandwich ever in my life was the uh, baguette with salami at the Louvre. And that was it. It was a baguette. It had fresh but fresh butter on it and delicious salami and it was heaven. Um, yeah, <clears throat> this is one thing. Fresh made mm -hmm. and uh, a high quality ingredients. This yes. is uh, fresh high quality is the key to success. Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Russian bread is much more fun, Mar Hockman says. So when we're in Sweden, typical breakfast is what we call Finnish dense bread, butter, cheese, and meat. Um, it, it, it's not Finnish. It's this really heavy, dark, slightly sweet, very grainy loaf of bread from the local bakery that is delicious. Or sometimes Beetle will make um, saffron buns, usually just at the holidays. Ah. Uh, so, 
Of course, it helps when your cousins are really good bakers. My uh, cousin's son is a sh- professional chef, and he's only cooked for us when we've gone to his restaurant. It's not like he cooks for us at home. <coughs> my cousin's wife cooks for us at home, or my cousin cooks for us at home, and ah, oh, so good. Then again, they come over here, and I try and cook for them. And, oh, I'm uh, something is. Um in, in many cases, um, the uh, it's the uh, simple uh, everyday food that can make the difference. You don't need the super duper special stuff. It's just kind of okay. Just um, it's something we would like to have every day. Oh yeah, yeah. Chris, I worked for a German bakery for, I don't know, for 10 years, and yes, no preservatives, no fillers, no fake stuff is delish. However, GMO, genetically modified, whatever, everything is genetically modified because we're humans and we like to go ahead and go, oh, let's mix this plant and that plant. Oh, this one's particularly good. Let's play with that one. It's not chemically GMO'd, it's not, but it is genetically modified because we did it. Otherwise, we wouldn't have broccoli or cauliflower or any of the other cruciform vegetables because they're all varieties of wild mustard Mm. that the Uh, Italians played with going back a couple of millennia. Okay, genetically modified in this uh, kind. uh, Selective breeding is something different from, uh, yes, going to the code directly. This is true. No, technically we are going to the code. We're, we're just doing it from the idiot point of view, which is, let's see what happens if we do this. But it still is uh-huh. genetically modified. There is no actual, in the States at least, there is no definition of what GMO is. It's, it's like there's no definition of what organic is in the States. There's no definition uh-huh. of natural or pure. It, those are just little buzzwords. So people can say it's GMO or not GMO all they want. I hope it's different in other countries. Mark Hawkman points out in nature, viruses sometimes gene splice plants and people and animals. Yes, because that's what nature does. There used to be a commercial for a fake butter product wherein a woman at the end would come out and sneer nastily at the fake butter and go, it's not nice to fool Mother Nature. But Mother Nature likes to fool us. (laughs) Well, Chris, I don't disagree with you. It's just that here in the States, there is no definition of what GMO is. So, um, I live in Indiana, which does not permit um, growing weed or selling weed or using weed. It's not legal here, but it's one of the few states where it isn't legal. And one of the things I do for work is to, well, I don't do it, but um, they create machines that basically grind up steam heat and denature plant materials. So, if you are running a farm and you're crossbreeding stuff and experimenting on your own, you can make sure that the things that are successful aren't stolen by your competitors and the things that aren't successful um, get destroyed so they don't contaminate stuff. So we play a lot with that concept of GMO and it doesn't matter if they're doing it in the lab or if they're doing it in nature, it causes the same end effect. It's just easier one way over the other. Um, One thing is... um the uh, kind of, yes, um, you are uh, just um, arran- uh, arranging marriage just between plants. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, you're right there. It is an arranged marriage. Now, this will work better if um, I put a board When on. you do it that way, you uh, the result will be um, uh, desired or uh, just uh, th- something you did not want. But... Um, Again, you uh, do not get the uh, the um, accidents, uh, the horrible accidents when you go to uh, DNA modification. 
or yeah. trans, and no and transpecies stuff is uh, most uh, m most frightening thing in uh, kind of okay. What happens to allergens? Oh, and what happens to unexpected side so effects? No computer simulation on? could tell you about. But that is um okay. Some but just something. Hold on. Uh, Chris says he's got an endeavor of 120 Borg on the ground. That sounds too high. It's usually no more than 60. I'm guessing he's got the same glitch that I had. Mm. Where it's giving you the wrong amount. Chris, it probably is 60. Because that's the most you ever get even on the, uh, it, on the good ones. Yeah. But there is one or two cases where there's a typo and it's telling you you've got more than you normally expect. So my guess is try it for 60. Because the only thing I can think of for 120 might be like uh, D1 arthropods, which are Herc. easy kills. Herc. Is there Herc. Herc attendance. Herc attendance. But not Borg. Not Borg. So I was playing this earlier, and the same thing happened. I went flying over two sets of these and lost my board, which I hate. There we go. Hit down so hard your board disappears. Well, I'm not going to take first, so aim for second. Come on, second. Oh, this guy isn't getting first. Okay, there we go. Fine. Oh, I must have missed one. Is it worth going back and picking it up? <laughs> Mayor Hawkman soliciting for assistance on the ground game. Where did I miss the one? Let's see how far back it is. Oh, not worth picking up, I'm sure. This game is not fond of you missing one and making you go back and pick it up. I'm sure I missed it in the grotto. Oh wow, I missed it way back. Though that's interesting. Look at how far back this is. There's no way I'm going to make it in 30 seconds back around. That's the one. I don't know how I missed that, but I did. Nope, not going to make it back in 19 seconds. Oh well. Chris, um, Mar Hawkman's been in favor of or been advocating for doing a ground workshop, which I'm totally in favor of. Ah, I lost. Yeah, I want to start doing some ground stuff. Or ground workshops so we all get better ground so we can do the elite stuff. Thunk, 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 thunk. So I've been using this superior board, which has got a little bit better maneuvered maneuverability, but not as much in the way of speed. That's interesting. I still have to come up here and grab the flag, but it's not... I wonder... I wonder if this will auto-kill at the end of the one minute. I'll bet it does. Yep, wrong one here. Let's just kill that one, otherwise it'll say I've lost it. Race, 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 race. Come on, where's the race? There it is. We'll just drop that. There we go. Yay! Well, Chris, if you have a really good ground build, the ground stuff goes super fast, and then life is easy. So, Ed, I've got about ten minutes left. What would you like to do? Um, um uh, we could uh, we could go for an um uh, uh, perfect for my endeavor planning would be a hive onslaught uh let me see what I've got over here on Gorney's team team Gorney Gorney has got Nothing, so I don't care. Anything you want. 
Okay, Doki. So, um, I um, Mort uh, leaves Cass, uh, uh, the, the Cass lady, alone, and you can team uh, can team in Mort for doing stuff. You said Mort. Mort. Okay. Yeah. Mort. There you go. It's back on Kethsa. Doesn't matter to me. Oh. Okay. Actually, you know. Let's talk about Gorny. You know what? Uh, I, I am. I'm going to leave this. I am going to go grab Gorny. Because yeah. he, he will have a happier time. Give me one sec here. Let me get that one out of there. And Gorny should magically show up for us. Yep. Blow him up there. Still all dressed for the party. Yep. All right. Nope, 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 wrong button. That button, Mom. Coffee has not kicked in yet. The Horgon hunt has started. Talk to the Horgon collector to participate. All right, let me queue us up for a little hive onslaught. I know I don't have to work today, but I'm determined to get the rest of the fabric cut for the costumes. Wee woo. Wee woo. My guess, Apulu, is yes, they will have um, Strange New Worlds Gorn. Gorn, just as a uh, body option, like they've got TOS Gorn. Yeah. TOS Gorn, known as Rabagorn, <laughs> or um, more cute in German, Gummigorn. Gummigorn? I like that. Yes. Gummy is uh, rubber. Gummy is the uh, word for generic rubber in German. So if you want to burn the tires with the uh, cavalier start of your car or bike, gib gummy. Burn the rubber. Aha. So to answer your question. Mar Hawkman, I'm thinking if we do see the Goom uh, sorry, see the Strange New Worlds Gorn, it won't be before the fall at the very earliest. <laughs> yeah, and one thing is, um, <clears throat> they are damn close to um, monsters, actually, rather than um, <clears throat> developed species. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Chris, as they have pointed out in the game any number of times, this is an amusement park. You only uh -huh. have to do the stuff you want to do and the stuff that's fun okay. for you. Okay, we have a green farang, the green cobalt me, and a red farang uh, wow. also. Uh, the o -O -O. That form was fled. Weak. Fallible. You said you had three dreadnoughts. Yeah, that okay. is uh, that is definitely no trouble in uh, <coughs> in my world. That's good. My mouse disappeared. Where's my mouse? There's my mouse. So, Chris, back in the day, we didn't have transwarp. <laughs> well, 
when I was playing the game first time around, you took forever to get places. I would set somebody on a map, set them up to go someplace, go out and have dinner, come back, and they'd be getting there. Let's see if we can take her out fast. Yep. So much for your feedback, eh, Miss Queen? I think uh, science dude did his job. Though we have no science dude, which is even more interesting. <laughs> well, somebody was thinking science. Um, uh, can be very well. There are uh, there is a duty officer that uh, can stop feedback pulse from the queen as well. It's uh, one of those energy weapons duty officers who uh, disables opponent's buffs, which means feedback puts for a queen. Ooh, nice. Yeah, we definitely need more of those. I don't get killed by the feedback too often. Um, certainly it's not almost a... Almost embarrassing. Yeah. On my tank, almost never. On other tunes, yeah, it happens, especially on my Romulan. She gets it more often than not. That's one of the builds I need to work on. Yeah, I must confess my um, my uh, as I run uh, more bruisers than uh, sandbags, um, my tanks go down when I uh, do not uh, take care for an active feedback pulse. It's just um, yeah. Uh. And by the way, green cobalt will be the first candidate for modernization with the new uh, consoles that is um, put the hunger pads on steroids and uh, tune down a little bit the main ship's uh, weapon boost, uh, boost consoles and see how it goes. <laughs> well, I, I think that uh, Ketsa, my Romulan, is the one who needs the first upgrade. That's She's flying the uh, Astika from, that was my first Lobby ship, so you can imagine how old that is. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, yeah, that will be a lengthy. Um, well, she she lengthy deserves it. We can put the we can yeah. put her on shore leave, and uh, the crew can go take some break, and I'll put the ship in dry dock, and we'll work on it for a while. But tune wise, she's one of my favorite tunes. Yeah. Anyway, even though I don't have to go to work today, I'm gonna go work on the costumes this morning. Well, I can't. I was working on them yesterday morning because I knew the cleaning crew... I'm doing this at the office uh, because the dogs are not at the office and will not go walking on the fabric while I'm cutting it out. So I'm in there. I've got the entire production area floor to work on. Super clean, nice and easy. Get in there and 20 minutes into it, the cleaning crew, who normally don't show up till 3 in the morning, came in early so they could have a three-day weekend. Okay, well, I guess I'm cleaning up all this stuff. nice thing. Mm -hmm. Well, tomorrow, let us play with some ground builds. Chris, you're welcome to jump in and join us if you so choose. Um, whatever. We'll do, we do ground builds occasionally. We do space builds a lot. So a little fair time for ground builds. I can't even talk today, Ed. Ugh. I don't know if it's my getting older or if it's just I still need a little time to get over everything. Go figure. Oh, I wonder if we're going to have a universal today. We haven't had one over the weekend. Yeah, I think one of those gone, like, um, do uh, this and that, or do a foundry mission, or uh, some some of those. Yeah, they pulled a bunch of them. Yeah, Mark Hawkman, that's how I feel, feel. I cannot brain today. I has the dumb. That is how I felt for the last two days. And what's funny is I've been sleeping The alarm went off at 3 o'clock to do the 20-hour cool down this morning, Apulo. I looked at the clock and said, it's just a game. Go back to sleep. <laughs> um, that is kind of, um, do it in the evening, just a game. Uh, don't dare waking me. 
Sometimes I don't mind it. Last night, no, never, 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 never. We never call out anyone, Chris, except in the good ways. It's always shared whateverness. Mm, yeah, except occasionally me when uh, something really gets me into an um, shot and rage. Where <laughs> what the heck is this and that doing? Yeah. The sad thing about having today off from work is a lot of other businesses have today off from work. So the things I would do on a day off, I can't go do because the shops are closed. So I took myself out for dinner last night because I knew the place would be closed today. And it was really underwhelming. And I thought, well, maybe it's just not a good day for them. So I thought, I'll go back on, oh, they're closed tomorrow. Okay. And they closed on Tuesday for 4th of July. Okay, fine. I'm going to go work and I'll take a different day off. So there, yeah. Anyway, it's up to you, Ed, to say goodbye to everybody for us. Yeah, and that means um, the Monday morning menace has been beaten. Fingers forming pyramid of evil in front of me. Wow. And from that point of view, I can say, stay awesome.